about three years ago, I was found positive for the BRCA gene 1 mutation. And that means that my likelihood of getting cancer is higher than the average woman's. It's very scary, it's very overwhelming. Just that feeling that I was going to get it is just outweighing everything else. So I have chosen to go through with a double mastectomy, preventative double mastectomy. My first thought was, no, no, you can't do this. You can't mutilate your beautiful body. They're gonna remove up to here, here, and then here. Oh, f My boobs are getting cut off. I'm just super nervous. I'm biting all my nails, and, and I, it's, it's, I don't wanna change my decision, though. That's the thing, like, everybody keeps saying, like, you know, you don't have to do this. I'm Caitlin Brodnick. I don't have to do it, but I want to do it. I just want to do it, like, tonight. And I'm 28 years old. I, like, don't want to wait a week. It's almost the week is, like, a, the worst thing. I live in New York City with my husband and our puppy, Falcon. I work at a law firm. I'm the day receptionist with my comedy partner, Lisa, who's one of my closest friends. And so we put together this show, and I do comedic storytelling. It is like a second full-time job after my full-time job. <laughs> it's what you do from 6 p.m. till midnight. I've just totally fallen in love with New York, and my husband would will never leave New York. I love our wedding pictures. Yes, I love our wedding pictures. Oh, when she tells the story, it's it's way funnier because I'm like, well, you see, we met, and then we hung out, and then I moved, and she didn't, and then. We, she came up here and then we got together and finally we were a couple and then I asked her to marry me and then we got married and now we're here. That's her version is like a lot more Yeah, you like speed through impressionistic. it. Impressionistic. Plus it's boring. Mine, yeah, mine, that's why I said yours is way funnier. We met in college. We had the same major. After graduation we actually met. That was, yeah, seven years ago. We've been married together for two years now. I Obvious. didn't cry, I just was like... Yeah. You did start crying. After I said yes and you put it on me. No, you were crying. I don't remember. <laughs> it was a blur. A beautiful You blur. were tears with a human attached. Okay, you are well, more tear than person. Well, that's okay. Well, then let it be. Then it would mean more to me. I'll you. never make anyone that happy again. <laughs> I peek. <laughs> well, that's it. Caitlin is the funniest person I've ever met, for sure. She just has this uh, spirit that's just, you can't contain it. This is Kate McKenzie, my dad. Caitlin, this was high school. Um, my dad is in, in, in my life every day. I talk to him every day. He's one of my most favorite people in the world. And um, he had his entire, he's lost his entire immediate family from cancer. This is my sister, Iris. My family has all died of different cancers. Mother breast cancer, sister breast cancer. This is my mom. You know, parents you expect to die even though they die too early. And it was hard to see my parents go through um, my sister's death. But Caitlin actually saved my parents' life uh, because my sister died December 12th. And then on Christmas, Mag found out she was pregnant. My husband tested positive, Kate's dad, for the BRCA1 gene, the breast cancer gene, which was a shock because he's a man and you wouldn't think that a man would have to worry about that or even consider it. So we went to the girls and said, look, it's in our family, you need to get tested. My sister was negative for the mutation, but I tested positive. Based on the statistics that I was given, my risk of getting cancer is very different than a person who doesn't have the mutation. This is the analysis kit, the specimen collection and transportation kit, if you want to find out if you have the, uh, the gene. Even though I don't have cancer, it felt like I was always about to get it. It just was very scary. I went to maybe one or two doctors that weren't exactly specialists in the field, and they just told me right away, like, we're cutting off your breasts, and it was just so harsh. <laughs> so BRCA1 and BRCA2 are genes that everybody has. They have normal functions in the body, uh, largely to repair damage that's done to our DNA. And sometimes people inherit a abnormality in one of those genes that causes it to malfunction, which makes them susceptible to breast cancer and ovary cancer and to a lesser degree to certain other kinds of cancers. 
my risk for breast cancer by the age of 50 can go as high as 50%, where the average population is at 2% chance. By the age of 70, I have between 56 to 87% chance, and the average person has a 7% chance. So that's, you know, enough to freak me out. <laughs> I realized that her whole family sort of had this kind of black cloud over them in terms of, of cancer and how, how much it had affected them. It always followed her around a little bit, that fear. She sort of knew that she had it, so there was no real panic. I mean, I think she was nervous. I think she's already planning, like, what is our life going to be like post-diagnosis? too much. The scars are going to be large. They're going to be from here to here. They have to remove my nipple too because they won't be able to save it. Caitlin's parents found this guy in Maryland who is famous for giving nipple tattoos. 